Hi there, this is Esther. I'm a surface designer and illustrator. I love to make art and teach others my process. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a flexible and customizable isometric grid on Illustrator, where you can customize the size, the thickness, the color, and use it in Illustrator or any other programs like Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to create a vertical line. So you can press forward slash on your keyboard or this little icon here and just click and drag. Hold shift key while you do that so that your line is perfectly vertical. So this will be the baseline. You don't see anything because we don't have the stroke width yet. I'm gonna set it as blue and turn the width to two point. And then we wanna select it and right click, come over to transform, rotate, change the rotation angle to 60 and turn on the preview. Instead of clicking okay, I want you to click on copy to create a duplicate. And do the same thing again by pressing Command D. So basically, this will be our building block. And then we want to select them all and come over to Object, Pattern, and Make. It doesn't look immediately like a grid yet. We just need to make a few changes. So the first thing we need to do in here is to find your Pattern Options panel and click on this little lock to maintain the width and height proportions. And then click on width and backslash two. So basically this will divide the width and height by two without doing the actual math. And then press on tab. It's getting a little closer to looking like an isometric grid. Select the middle line here and press hold the option key, you will see the double arrow appearing and drag it to the right. You also wanna hold on to shift key so your movement is perfectly horizontal. Wait until it snaps at the border of the pattern where the little blue square ends on the right and let go. So now we have our grid. You can click on done. You will see on the swatches panel, you have a latest pattern that you just made. So I'm just gonna delete it all and show you how to use it. So let's make a square first. It doesn't matter, it could be a circle too. So I'm pressing M for rectangle tool and just click and drag to a square and turn off the stroke and turn the fill into the latest pattern we made. And you will see we have a grid. Whenever you wanna change the dimension, you can click on the pattern and right click, transform, scale. And you wanna uncheck the transform object. So this will keep the size the same, but just only change the content inside. So you can change the number up and down and click on OK. And if you want to change the color of your grid, you can select it and come over to the Recolor Artwork tool and select a different color and click on OK. So for some reason, if you want this to be thicker or thinner, you can double click on your swatch and command A to select all the content and come over to stroke weight and change it to a thicker number. And instead of clicking done, you wanna click a copy so it doesn't overwrite. You will see our swatches panel is growing and click on cancel. So this is before and after. You can export your grid from here as a PNG, so it can function as a grid elsewhere. 
or if you just want to bring it over to Photoshop by copying this as a smart object. So command C to copy, command V to paste, and you will have different options. I usually like to choose smart object. So this will not rasterize anything. And you want to click on return or enter. If you want the grid to fill the entire area, make sure the grid is selected and command T. You will see the edge. If you want to transform from the middle, while you are dragging, hold your option key. There you go. So now you have a grid. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to grow your design and illustration skills, I would love for you to check out my Skillshare classes where I teach my design process in depth. In the description box, you will find a link that will give you two months for free.